everybody and welcome back to Bay Singers Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and it has been a long time since we have done a disc review and giveaway but today that is changing. Today we have a review on the Discraft Luna but not just any Luna it is the 2022 ESP Swirl Luna. As you can see we have a nice ghost stamped Luna here and we will be giving this disc away so if you want to enter to win this disc Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how. In this lunar review, you will see Jerry, Griff, and myself from the original BDGC crew, as well as some team BDGC members in Mike DeVault and Alan Paul. Huge thank you to Alan for coming all the way from North Carolina to shoot with us. That's enough for the intro. Let's get to some throws and some reviews of this Discraft 2022 Tour Series ESP Swirl Luna. That's a mouthful. Thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. I just like to say this is a sick Luna Tour Series. This thing, I mean, you gonna let them see it now while it's pretty, because we about to tear this thing up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you can still win it. All right, this pretty Luna that we beat in, and honestly, there's some scuffs, but it's not that bad. It's a pretty sturdy disc. It is slick, so it is more of a approach style. It's pretty stable. It just holds a dead straight line. It will hold an Anheuser. It will hold that hyzer. It's a solid disc. It will just drop. Don't know if it was any of the wind, because there's no wind around here, but maybe a little bit, and that was setting it down, but it really doesn't have a whole lot of glide. So it is a great approach disc if you just want something that's going to go and sit close to that basket if you hit that line. Alright guys, this is a review of the uh, Tour Series Paul McBeth Luna. Uh, I did learn that I cannot throw nor can I putt like Paul McBeth with this disc, so can't win them all I guess. Uh, but good disc, I like it more for an approach than I did putter, it's a little bit slicker than the one I like. but. Uh, for as far as the approach this, it flew pretty good. A uh, little over stable side, just kind of kind of watch your lines with it, but uh, great looking disc, beautiful stamp. But uh, sorry, Paul, I just can't do it. Um, <coughs> said the uh, Tour Series Luna, um, it's a very pretty disc. <laughs> uh, for me, it just it doesn't doesn't make the hand feel, so it's not it's not something that would make my bag. But I know a lot of people that like uh, putt with them. Um, but for me, it's just not, it just doesn't glide enough. Like he said, if you want something that's going to drop by the basket, this might be the disc for you. Um, but it's, and it is pretty durable. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, Tour Series Luna from Paul McBeth with the ghost stamp that I don't like. <laughs> I want to be able to see my stamp. I'm sorry for you guys that do like ghost stamps. Um, for me, the plastic too slick for a backhand shot. Um, I want more glide in my approach discs. So really this wouldn't make my bag at all. So sorry, Paul. Why is everybody everybody apologizing to Paul McBeth like he's gonna watch this? <laughs> Paul McBeth, me versus you on the course. I will I get an 86 stroke handicap. All right, my review of the Tour Series Luna. Um, I do like the Ghost Stamp, but like Griff said, it's I do like something to pop on the disc as well. So it is kind of cool. The plastic feels great. It's a little bit slick. Uh, the disc itself, I've thrown a few Lunas before, but this one's super slick. This is the slickest Luna I've ever felt. A little too deep dish for me. Uh, I would compare it most, at least in feel, uh, to a Ruru, uh, that's what's in my bag. Uh, this is definitely more stable and but less glidey than what a Ruru is. Um, uh, as I said, it'll hold the line. If you throw it on an Anheuser, it'll hold it. If you throw it on a Heiser, it'll hold it. Or throw it straight, it will. But it just wants to drop. Uh, I would almost compare it to something like a Berg, but with less overstability, if that makes sense. So. Uh, it just wants to sit down. If you're wanting to go about 30 feet, this is a good, no, I'm joking. Paul can throw it like 500, but for some reason, for it could be my arm, but it does not want to glide for me, so that's my thoughts. 
Okay, everybody, that is it for the Lunar Review. If you want to enter to win this disc, all you have to do is make sure you hit subscribe. If you are not subscribed, you will not be eligible to win this video, and I will be checking. Aside from that, all I want you to do is comment below with the number 1 through 100. Now, to our Patreon supporters, as a huge thank you to you for being a supporter of ours, you can pick two numbers. I will be using random.org to pick a winner for this Luna probably about a week after this video has been up. So make sure you comment and leave your number down there. And also please let us know what you thought of the review, what other discs you would like to see us review as well. Thanks for watching and as always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area.